Hey guys, this is Making It Work, and I'm Jimmy if you haven't been here before. Today we're going to make a quick video about this uh, 71 Chevelle we're working on. Uh, there's going to be five reasons not to buy a hot rod or a classic car on the internet without seeing it in person, no matter how nice it might look in the picture. Alright, let's go over these top five reasons not to buy a car sight unseen from the internet. They might... They might cut the bottom of the radiator support off and make custom mounts to put the radiator in uh, that are obviously not going to fit any kind of a correct radiator. So then they end up drilling the radiator and welding brackets on the radiator to put in an aftermarket radiator not made for the car. So next thing you know you end up with all kinds of adapters and custom fabricated stuff to make custom fabricated stuff work. Like this piece of metal I had to make. The, uh, the guys that built this car left a giant hole in the dash with a firewall so that it'd be easier to get rid of it, I guess. But fabricating this piece to go on here and cover the uh, hole in the firewall because it melted the ignition switch on the steering column behind the firewall. The headers are right out there. So it melted the ignition switch. I already replaced that. It's on top of the steering column up here. We got back from a road test uh, trying to make sure his, his little radiator would do the job and it ended up melting his, his ignition switch on a long road test. <laughs> we got back, the car wouldn't shut off pretty funny but not really for this guy but just a heads up so you guys know it might look real pretty on the internet reason number three his stereo and his air conditioning are wired to be on all the time so you don't need to have the key on to engage the uh, AC clutch and to put the radio on so every Every time he parks the car, we have to unplug these, this connector that they custom wired. This connector right here, if I can do it with one hand. All right. The radio's on all the time. There is no off. And the blower, in, these, in the aftermarket air they added, key's not in. The blower runs all the time. Radio on all the time. The aftermarket gauges are always drawing a little bit of current because they don't turn off. They're all wired through battery in this custom aftermarket harness they put in. You can see, that's where your fuse panel is. You know what? The 71 Chevelle looked really good in the pictures though. Uh, I believe the selling price was $58,000. So if, something for you guys that are considering buying a classic car or hot rod or something on the internet that looks really cool. Uh, do yourself a favor, spend the airplane ticket money to go inspect it firsthand, or pay someone who knows a lot about cars to take a look at it for you, a liaison. Uh, if you buy a car in California, there's people out there that'll inspect the car for a couple hundred bucks and tell you what they think, uh, instead of burning a hole in your pocket. I think we're up to seven or eight thousand dollars on this car so far. All right, it's not the prettiest repair ever, but it'll work. Um, I put some silicone sealing around it so it wouldn't let any engine heat in the engine compartment. Got one bolt in there just in case it'll hold it real good and the silicone will set up good. Uh, it'll be all set. I think it'll be all right. We're gonna do uh, a complete dash rebuild. New dash pad, new cluster, all new wiring harness. We're gonna get rid of that under dash AC and put a factory AC unit behind the glove box like it's supposed to have. So. When we do that, we're going to put a fiberglass mat across the whole firewall. Also note, this car doesn't have an LSX engine in it. It has a 
has a six liter truck engine. So you guys that know about LS is um, it's a totally different ball game between an LSX and, an, and, an, uh, and a truck engine. Uh, they put a lot of LSX engines on some for a car that doesn't have an LSX in it. Got cool wheels though, but he's gonna take them off and get regular GM rallies. I don't know why he didn't get a more original car. I think he liked the color. They made this look really good for the, in pictures, but uh, the, the plastic is really not in good shape at all. And you can see it was blue and it was just painted and the blue is already flaking off of it. Uh, there's a lot of a lot of stuff that's in pretty bad shape, worn out pretty good. But uh, they sure made it look real pretty for pictures. So someone online would go ahead and buy it uh, and then they wouldn't have to deal with it anymore. Uh, they closed off the AC vents. Supposed to be AC vents or air vents there for even if you don't have an AC car, you usually get airflow from those air vents. And they closed them off. See the nice plumbing job they did on the uh, on the underdash AC. Passenger gets to kick the AC hoses around a bit. So just a lot of little things that add up. Um, but we got a whole new dash pad, new new factory instrument cluster for it. Uh, and we're going to move this AC, take it out, and put a put an AC unit behind the glove box there. Um, there's quite a few things uh, that you can see this car needs. So uh, <laughs> it needs a little love for for a car that was almost sixty thousand dollars. So. Just FYI, the car is solid. Luckily, it's got a, a straight frame in it, and there's no uh, rust underneath. The frame's not rusty inside, you know, like it was painted over rust or anything like that. All that stuff's in really good shape. So it does have a solid foundation. He's not totally screwed, but he's just, he probably paid about $25,000, $30,000 too much for the car because it was represented as a, uh, a show-ready LSX-powered 71 Chevelle SS, but it's really a six-cylinder Chevelle Malibu, whichever they called it in 71. But uh, in any event, uh, it was misrepresented. So that's where a, uh, a liaison comes in handy, uh, having someone look at the car for you before you spend your hard-earned money. <laughs> look for some more Versus videos coming up real soon on the channel. Um, I'm hoping to have some done by next weekend, but definitely within the next two weekends, we're going to have some comparison videos and a couple of tool hauls. I got some tools I ordered. I think you guys are going to like. See you in the next video. I really appreciate you guys watching the video, and uh, stay tuned for the next one. Click that bell notification if you don't want to miss a video. I'm going to try to do uh, a couple uploads every weekend. So uh, thanks for watching, guys. Appreciate it.